Okay, sure. we are starting the show. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to the show. I'm John. I'm Brittany. And this is Random, Random Rewind. Ah! Always fantastic. Yes. <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> <laughs> we have a, a another movie that we reviewed today. We watched a we watched a film over the last few days. Um, a film from two thousand five. From two thousand five. So throw back to your nostalgic yeah. self. I think they made it into a TV series called uh, To Catch a Predator. Um, no, it's called Waiting. And <laughs> <laughs> I have so many opinions about this damn movie after watching it again. So I watched this film. Probably about a decade ago. Did last. you see it when it came out? I watched it in theaters because I was a senior in high school. And I, this is really embarrassing. Sure. I went to go see this movie because Dane Cook was in it. Okay. And I was, a, I know. I well, said, I mean, this every, did but, not age well, well overall. No, well, I mean, Dane Cook was a huge star I, at the it, time, right? At the time. He did, like. He had all his comedy specials yeah, coming yeah, out. This yeah. was like 2005 and I was I love comedy and like I was in it. And I was I was literally what 16, so it's like sure. I was there. So I found out he was going to be in this movie and so me and my friends were like, "Oh, we have to go see Waiting because Dane, Dane Cook is going to be in it." Sure. Kind of. I mean, once you see it, you're like, uh, mm, uh, "He's <laughs> there, I guess." But it's yeah, it's embarrassing now, especially knowing how like how cringy Dane Cook turned out to be now in the future. Yeah, I mean, um, he acted the part very, very well. In the well, film, he um, <laughs> he acted Ryan Reynolds' part very well. <laughs> yeah, he he, yeah. he should have been the main character. <laughs> Yeah. So uh, yeah, continue with okay. So oh it, yeah, yeah, because he would have fit that role. He like, would have fit genuinely. that role because Ryan Reynolds is the is the number one in this. He's the number one guy in this movie. Yeah. He plays a character like the Van Wilder character named Monty. Yeah. yeah. But just like Idiocracy, where they went in real heavy with like the gay jokes, in this movie they go real heavy with underage girl stuff, and it's it's, it's gross. So like when you watch it again, you're like you I, feel gross. Right. When I say to catch a predator, I'm not even exaggerating. I mean, there's, that's what. It is. There's like. so many freaking like underage inappropriate scenes, specifically with this one girl, uh, the, the the um the hostess for the uh, for the restaurant. Yes. Uh, what role did she play, Natasha? Natasha. Yeah. Uh, Vanessa Lenghi's played Natasha at the time. I did look this up to make sure it wasn't as creepy as oh, the I'm producers sure she made was it. At age. She, she was, was age. she was born in 1985. This was filmed in 2005. Okay. Yeah, she was. So fine. She was 20. But still, they portrayed her as an underage girl. They portrayed her as okay as a seventeen year old. As a seventeen let's, year old, before we before we knock it too much, let's do a a, the, a a synopsis kind of just what it is. Sure, go for okay, it. Okay, so go this, ahead and pound out the freaking randomness the of this film. This movie is called Waiting. It came yeah. out in two thousand five. The whole point of this movie is it's based on one day at a restaurant. It's yes. the the worker shift at this restaurant is called Shenanigans. It's kind of like a knockoff Applebee's, Chili's More sort like of a TGI hybrid. Fridays, right? A TGI Fridays, yeah. yeah. That's perfect because it's yeah. all the wood paneling, all the wood paneling, and the freaking, and so all the you decor. you're learning the characters, and of course e each character has their. Um, little quirks we have monty who he's who's played by ryan reynolds he's the main dude he's the creepy one but he's trying he's like the cool guy or you sure, know yeah and then we have justin long who he's just always fantastic and he plays dean and he's the one going through and i think anyone in the restaurant industry has gone through this this sort of midlife crisis of am i gonna be here forever right Did is I, this my end this all is, gonna be, is this gonna be my career for the rest of my exactly life? yeah and, it... and there's nothing wrong with having a career in the restaurant industry oh, for the not. rest of your life but for him it's not it's clearly not enough he didn't want that i mean he's and especially still... after he got the ribbing from his mom yeah. yeah yeah so he's he's our other main character he's he's mom way <laughs> he's uh way more classy than monty's character he's, he's oh tenfold he is kind of a jerk to his girlfriend but barely like uh, it's, yeah kind of like he's at, going through a thing he's so at it makes that sense. age of of i'm a jerk to my girlfriend yeah and the girlfriend is kind of you know in that same age group as exactly. well they're she 22 does, she they're does playing this, 22 year olds right. she so. does the same type of thing that you do as a 22 year old yeah you and it's I mean? restaurant i've n i've personally never dated a co-worker now, it seems messy to me now the opening scene of this film is stupid <laughs> So party it's, scene? it's a party. So it's it's Dean, uh, played by Justin Long, walking into either his buddy's house or his house. I, I think it's tell, his house. And they're having a, a, a party there. Yeah. But the only people at the party are the employees from the fucking that's, restaurant. Uh, but that's how it goes. No, it's not. Yes, it I've is. Worked at food, I've worked in food service. I know, I've worked we'll in be restaurants. Wondering, but it wasn't you always have friends at the restaurant. Sometimes. You always do. 
and you always have them at your party. No, but not it, the whole party is your restaurant. That's bizarre. Where it's every employee, even the old fuckers, except for the manager. That's not weird at all. That's you, weird that's, as hell. No, it's not. That is totally regular. That's it. A, is not. And the people who had the day off weren't there. But it's they at the end party they brought in customers and people from that day. So maybe that day there were just so sure, cool customers party, hanging but, out. But this party, even the Bishop, opening scene. But even Bishop is there. Uh, Bishop, shout out Bishop. <laughs> he's probably the, <laughs> yeah, the she, best uh, character in uh, this is it, movie. Is it Shy McBride? Uh, he's he's a great actor. Um, he's really freaking weird in this film. No, he's not. Yes. He's oh, great. He's, he's hands down he's the, the big, wise man. He's the biggest freaking weirdo here. He's, but he's not a weirdo in that sense. He's not a weirdo in the. Creep. Are you talking about the dishwasher? Yeah. The what do you mean like, weird? He's like the voice of reason. He's the. His, his advice is absolutely stupid. In Full every of, way. No, he's not. <laughs> yeah. He's he he gives great advice. I love it. I disagree yeah. with you. I think he's the voice of reason through this entire place, and yeah. it's the only reason why this place is holding on for dear life because of of his wisdom oh, oh i don't know about that his wisdom is oh my gosh is, uh is there's, the, okay so also anna ferris is in here she plays one of the waitresses fantastic anna ferris is always great we love her uh we have mitch who is the new employee who they're training that day and his storyline is hilarious like he does not speak a word the entire movie so there's the best character of the film you think because he doesn't talk at all no because he finally blows but that, up that, that, we'll get there oh, we'll yeah, get there okay. we're in we're still in the beginning <laughs> okay so mitch is the trainee and he's he's just coming in then we have you know we have our cooks they kind of the, the bartenders they break down uh oh gosh andy uh what's his name andy milanakis do you remember when he was big for 30 seconds andy he's milanakis? one of the bus boys yeah but he was big yeah, he had a, well. He had a show on MTV, and he, he? was yeah. You don't remember that? Well, no. were, that was a different. His his yeah. rise would have been around 2005. Yeah. Him and Dane Cook were probably hanging out because they were both kind of semi famous at that point. Oh, I see. So he kind of like cameoed into it. He does a great job. Um, so they establish like this is how it goes. This is the cooks. This is that. Blah blah blah. And then we kind of get to see how their night goes through. What <laughs> is the one reach? And then there's one angry waitress. What is her name? Her name. She play her character's name is Naomi. And yeah. she is it, literally, that's exactly how it is when you are like serving or bartending or you go behind the scenes and you just lose it. And you're like, I can't, but she's got blah, blah, bleep, 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 bleep. And then you go, is there anything else I can get for oh, you yeah, this yeah. evening? She's, she's <laughs> like, angry she behind the scenes. It. Yeah, She's angry behind the scenes and super polite to the, the customer, fake polite to yes, the customers. Yes, but she, uh, that's how it goes. That's just how it is. Ubach. So she does such a great job. Yeah. She does such a great job. Let's be honest, though. Most of these actors, I mean, that was probably the biggest role that they had. Anna <laughs> Ferris and, and Ryan Reynolds. No, Anna she, Ferris. And Justin Long. And Justin these Long. Are, and was, even Louis Guzman. Yes, actually. he's Louis in so Guzman's much stuff. Lot. I feel like this uh, cast David is... David Koshner, he, he did stuff. But everybody else on this list is... Uh, they they have done other things, but they're not Yeah, very... David Kushner's done a lot of stuff. He's been, he's been in a... Oh yeah, yeah. I, you well, know, I feel David like Kushner is probably one of the biggest stars next to Ryan Reynolds, to be honest with you. Yeah, so that's what I'm saying. Like they've all they they I don't know about all, but the top six here. Yeah, yes, yeah, the top six. Sure. They they like if you're looking at the top six on that. I list. I don't know yeah. if um if I was Ryan Reynolds, if I would still want this out there, but at the same time, it's that's just what the no. role that's the roles he was playing at the time. Like right, he, he was doing just friends. That, he did a lot cook. of romantic he would have done better as good he does yeah. a lot of romantic comedies and and this was kind of thrown in there but they really lean well, in no, this was on like the van wilder era it was so, exactly so but like 2005 the and then remember when everyone was like and this is disgusting and we talked about this on an episode that we didn't put out because i got so angry um in the early 2000s remember like the countdowns to when people were going to turn 18 yeah. there was like a whole website of when the olsen I, was, twins were going to oh, turn 18 it was gross it's disgusting. Yeah. So that's yeah, what but they're that saying was, here. That's like, true. That was out and about in real life. Just like, for but everyone to see. said it. Like, and me being that age, because I was the yeah. age at that time, it's like, oh, it's gonna, it's such a big deal, or this or that. And it's like, it's great. It should never, it should never be glamorized in that way. Like, no. it's really disgusting. And it then really bad. he, so he's going for like the whole thing is they, they do talk about how his, he goes for under or younger Underage women girls. because. He can't get older women. And literally, Anna Ferris has one of the best uh, monologues because her and Monty in the movie used to hook up. Yeah. Right. So, and then they kind of. And then come, she rips into him. So she, he's like, Oh, haven't I been inside you? And this girl 
it's so great how she freaking goes off on him and, and the best line is she goes the only pleasure i ever received from you was how bad me and my friends was how much me and my friends were laughing behind your back from that like horrible experience right, and it's exactly. like get him girl because he was like a, a, a pump, pump well because he's yeah. trying to act like he's, he's a big like, badass and she's like yeah i hooked up with yeah, you no. Because I liked you, or I right. wanted a relationship with you, I wanted to hang around you because I thought you were cool. Yeah, but he's turns not cool. out he's you're not. Yeah. You're a douchebag. Yeah, and uh, you know Mitch lets him have it at the end. So we're gonna save what Mitch does because it's fantastic. Well, yeah, what Mitch does. So, is great. it's gold. I mean, that's probably the best part of this film. It, to be like, honest with you, is it crazy that you have to sit through the whole movie to get to the best part of the <laughs> movie? So, so like I was saying, I, last time I watched it was probably like 2012 when I had my shop, right? Mm -hmm. We had a, we had the TV in there for the waiting room, and this is one of the films. So you that put on play. waiting in the waiting room. <laughs> yeah, I mean whatever people wanted to, put, to play, right? We had a stack of DVDs, and they just put in whatever the yeah what, that little in between room before you can go in the bigger <laughs> yeah, room. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So no, it was in the bigger room. Oh, it was in the bigger it was room. In the bigger room. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, so uh, this was one of the films that was in there. So I, I watched it a few times. That was in there, not the whole thing, but bits and pieces to catch up to catch up on it from from time to time. And then I'd seen it before, probably about 2006, 2007, like a year like after, when it, or like after it came out, when new. it was on DVD and stuff. Yeah. Right? And um, watching it again, uh, this is one of those films that, you know, you look at a film, does this hold up mm -hmm. over time? By no means would this ever fly today. I, uh, no, it would not. I, yeah. but, and I feel like it could if they just cut out the bullshit. Like they, but they ninety percent of this film is bullshit. But they they like turn too much into well, not all of it. No, because, okay, so, but since you played it at work, did your yeah. employees start doing the penis showing game? No, <laughs> no, hell no, no. We never showed body. <laughs> I mean, I, again, I've worked in I've worked at restaurants. I've never had anybody freaking expose body parts. No, me neither. So I mean, that's, that's an instant firing. That's so. like what? I mean, even back then, that's a what yeah, that the wouldn't hell? even pass back then. Yeah, no, dude. You, even yeah. if you're all in on it, yeah. you, if you got caught, that I would mean, be the end. I've walked into people like in the cooler and stuff. That's that's whatever. I don't give a shit. Did about you that. did you take a picture of the two people in the bathroom? <laughs> I never took a picture of two people in the bathroom. You did. Oh, dude. Talk about another freaking between Louis Guzman who played uh, what's his name, uh, Radimus. Yeah, and I think he's the head chef. He's, he's the, yeah, he's, he's the head one. chef, and Danielle, his girlfriend, played he's by the Jordan, bartender. Yeah, Jordan Ladd, right? Um, that relationship is toxic as all holy hell. It, and I feel like most work relationships can get that way, or like it seems like he only wanted her for a, one reason. One reason, one reason alone. She wants him for way more reasons, and she wants to go out. She wants to. Go but they did things. that too, almost with Justin Long's character too. Like it's the girl waiting in the side, being like, "Oh, hey, like." Yeah, but it wasn't like strictly. I have her on the side just to bang her. That's, that's weird. Well, like, were they together? Who? Were they like that? Were they boyfriend girlfriend? Radimus um, and Danielle, yeah, yeah they were, they were girl. together. Cause, yeah, because at one point, uh, Ryan says, that, "Here, you guys are." Sounds like you guys are having a rough patch. If you guys, if you guys ever break it off. Oh yeah, he was trying to swoop in. Yeah, yeah, trying to swoop in. He was like, "Hey." Yeah, exactly. And then, I mean, every scene is like, "Yeah, we, you know, we went to that that funeral one time, you know, because that's a freaking <laughs> day." Yeah, you tried to have me jerk <laughs> you off. <laughs> He's <laughs> like, the movie I the took time. you to the yeah, movie. Yeah, I took you to the movie the one time. Yeah, you had me try, try to jerk Sorry, you off. Sorry, I know, but that's what funny. What the hell? It's messed up, but it it's funny, funny back, in context. It's, and I guess it's, it's funny because back then. I guess it's not funny it's, anymore. It's the actor, though. He really, it's okay when he does it for some reason. Like he just doesn't like. It wasn't. It doesn't creep me out as much as it may. Like I don't know. It, it didn't creep me out. It just made me feel fucking bad. It also for her. feels just like how chef and and bartender and her server relationships always go. I suppose so. But so I think I, that's I, what they're really trying to touch it, on. It made me feel really bad for her making these horrible life decisions, being with this. You just POS. feel bad. You're like, you could really be, do. You, could do like, you could do better. You know than what this she pile should do? She should get with the other bartender who is a uh, lesbian and she is gorgeous. And she's barely in this movie. I don't know her name, but like. Uh, he, she played uh, Tyla. Tyla. Her, her name is uh, Emmanuel Creek. I think she, I don't she, got, she got married, so her last name changed. Oh, it's, okay. It's, it's, I think it's C H R I Q U I. It's spelled, I think it's Creek. I'm not positive. There you go. Well, she's, she is absolutely gorgeous. Yeah. She <laughs> like, also didn't play in a whole lot of She was this. barely yeah. in it, too, but she was great. Yeah, she I, probably had about 20, 30 lines. Yeah. A little bit. Yeah. It, she, she was trying to switch someone at the bar who was going through a bad breakup. Like everybody, it's one of those, it's one of those movies where everybody has their own side story. So sure. Monty doesn't really have a story, just being a creep. Dean is trying to figure out his life choices. Yeah. Um, the girls are just kind of there, just, you know, being in. There's, uh, oh, we did not talk about Calvin, 
who is like the pushover dude who can't <sighs> pee. Man, Calvin, dude, that that dude, talk about psychosis, dude. That guy needs to go see a shrink, not just to go see freaking Bishop, man. I, he, he, yeah, well, Bishop did a good job, but sure. But I mean, seriously, when you he start seeing, real help. you hear voices. That is literally the signs of psychosis. Like you need to really, really get help. You need to get some serious and, help like, and get on some meds, work, dude. That would suck. Like, yeah. I don't know. It would anyway. So Calvin, whatever, he sucks at like talking to women and an, another coworker is using him. He's only there because he's working his other coworkers double shift that they that yes. she had to she couldn't work. She had a date. Be- yeah, because he thought they were he, he was going to try to hook up, but they're clearly on the friend zone. And side. he's and been he's very, not, very friend. Zone he's the nice guy. Little, so he's the, the nice guy. Trope. He's the pushover. Nice guy trope. Yeah. The, the guy who There's, apologizes for everything. The guy who's. Oh, did I do something wrong? Yeah, that, so I feel like they hit guy. every single... They tried to hit a lot of the tropes. Yeah. Um, they didn't nail it as well as they did in, like, say, Empire Records. Yeah, they they Am- did really good at Empire Records. Empire Records. I mean, and you had the multiple side stories in Empire Records, but they were... Even though the, the movie is not, like, fast-paced by any which way, shape, or form, it drew you into each person's buildup of that character. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I so think in that's... this, you, I don't have that, that connection with a lot of these characters. They can like leave today and i wouldn't give two craps and and i think not only does that have to do with like age difference because like when you were seeing this you were already grown adult and when i was seeing this i was a teenager yes but i also think it has a lot to do with like in the times of the early 2000s they went they pushed real hard on that that bar that line that it sure, really got pushed a lot so i, I feel like they overtook i think idiocracy idiocracy was the same way yeah, the but story they could have been fantastic but they didn't really jump into it nowhere near as bad as they did here in idiocracy i feel idiocracy. like it's about the same they had a lot so? of like anti-gay jokes in idiocracy like yeah i guess so just the but slurs no one, i guess nowhere near as bad as this though this one is really bad with a just specifically that game like if they eliminated that game that'd be one less like take of, that game out and it would have been you would have show your balls <laughs> it, it would have been that that whole joke would have been gone but i think that's also that's also a big part of the movie like i think without that game it takes out a lot it you know yes we need the game well see we you know the, why we need the game here's the problem right is if you need the game to make the movie, the movie sucks ass. We, but but we're I mean, but no we're much. circling back to Mitch. If we we need the game for Mitch, okay? Mitch is the trainee who needs it because he he is picking up on everything slowly because he's not saying anything, but he's watching. Right? He's seeing it. He's confused. He's like, "This is gross. I can't believe this." Blah 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 blah. He didn't need the game. Yeah, he did. He walked out at the end. At no, yeah, after he freaking showed his balls. Also unnecessary. The big one, the one that's hard to do, not the brain, not the bat wing. I can't remember what it's called, but there's a, the one that's like impossible to do. So oh, we'll just get into what. Sure. Mitch, so Mitch doesn't speak the entire time. He's not really allowed to. People talk I mean, to him, but they, they don't him let off. him answer. Yeah, yeah, they cut him off every time. So at the end of the movie, it's just he goes, he's at the party and no one again is letting him talk. And he snaps. He loses it. And he tells everybody what is up. Yeah. Like he, no, he rips into everybody. So put, put it this way. Like he points to Justin Long characters, Dean, and it's like, oh, no, 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 I want to be when I grow up. Uh, and then points to his girlfriend and goes, you're hot. Shut the fuck up. Like, in the <laughs> like, what are you complaining about? Like this, that. And then, and then he goes, he gets to Monty, who's, who was training him the entire day. Right. And he he talks crap about him being the coolest guy at shenanigans. He's like, you know, <laughs> it's pretty funny what he says, but also inappropriate. But you know, calls him out for that. Like, oh, you think you're oh, you're the coolest guy at shenanigans? Like, that's a big deal. Right. And then at the end, and then he goes and he points to Dane Cook. This is probably Dane Cook's biggest part in the movie. He goes, but you, you're the worst. And he's like, what me? Like, what did I do? So everyone turns to look at him, turn back to Monty, and Monty has already turned around and is showing. I can't remember the name of like the this big is, one. His nuts between his freaking legs shoved to the backside of his butt. It was That's epic. A, it, it was, was epic was in the terms epic. of what the movie was not epic. because he pulled it off that it, same day. Even watching it back then, I wasn't all, oh, look at that. Oh, oh I was. That's funny. I wasn't. I, was, I wasn't Because I didn't so. think that was going to happen. <laughs> I wasn't 16. I was 16. It was great. I wasn't 16, so I didn't think that was fucking fun. I, I mean, I thought it was really 
really i think it brought everything in together full circle i thought it was funny back then i don't think it's funny now and it didn't really tie anything together to me like if you eliminated that it wouldn't have made the movie any better or took taken away from the movie or worse at all for me okay but the yeah. the number one scene from waiting that became the movie i think became viral because of this scene which scene is when we are dealing with a, a bitch, Karen lady at the restaurant. Oh, yeah, yeah. This is, and this this is, is what the movie is known for. This is like the go-to scene of this movie. Right. And they, you know, she's complaining, constantly complaining, and this is that, and you suck, and blah, blah, blah. Then they take the food to the back, and it is up to the waitress if she says to do it or not. And she says, do it. And they just, like, annihilate this food. I'll, I'll like, insert a, a clip. <laughs> Yeah, because it's oh it's your like your worst fear when you go to a restaurant of what what you are I mean, consuming. You, I mean, it is literally the stupidest thing to do is to piss off the person handling. Well, I was gonna food. say they they That's said just, it right. Don't fuck with people that touch your food. I just I don't understand that is the, that is a golden rule. I I don't understand people's freaking hard on to get angry at the person who's just taking your order and bringing your That's, food. Well, yeah. Now, if they like, if they took forever to get your Have food. Have you ever been a server? Did you ever serve in a restaurant? Oh uh, yeah. I did. It's, it's the, it, you almost feel kind I of bust, demeaned. I've served, you Like I've you feel dishes. people treat you and not everybody, not even close to everybody, but there are certain people who treat you as like you are Be- uh, less, less than, than because less than. you're serving me, meaning whatever I need, whatever I want, she you get it for me. Line. She said the perfect line. It's the same line people bitch and complain about, about the, the minimum wage going up, right? Mm-hmm. How difficult could it possibly be oh, yeah. to take my order and bring me my food? That is the most demeaning thing. I mean, you, why would you even say that? You're going out to eat for an experience, you know, to have somebody bringing your food and stuff. They're serving you, but they're not your servant. Yeah. Let's well, and, and, and honestly, most of the time it's ignorance because they have no idea that how it works. Matter. No, I'm saying, but they, it's courtesy, a, that's what they say. Everyone should work as hell. in there. Yeah. You can be stupid as hell and know to treat people like decent human beings. Right. Like she's not, or she's not any better because she's sitting there and they're standing there. It's like, actually yeah. they show it. I think they do a great job of showing it. Like this is what can happen to you if you disrespect people. I Don't a, disrespect people. I had a friend. Back in the day, no longer a friend of mine. Uh oh, did um, he mess with somebody's food? No, no, no. This was uh, uh, when we were out to eat one time. So we went out. <gasps> we went out to a restaurant. I don't know where it was. Some some fancier restaurant, like that nicer restaurant. Who gives a crap? He tips pretty normal there. And then another time we went out, went out to eat to uh, to Denny's. It was mm-hmm. early in the morning, whatever it was. We went to Denny's, and um, I paid my bill. You know, tip the tip the waitress, and I saw him pay his bill, and he left a dollar on the table for. Her. I'm like. Well, did you just order a coffee or something? Yeah, one drink, one dollar. Like, I saw your, how it goes. I saw your food. Like you ate, didn't I'm you? Like, you ate food. I know. I know. Uh, Denny's food is inexpensive. Well, no, it's actually expensive, but well, it doesn't not, no, taste no. expensive. Back then, back then it was inexpensive. Oh, you like when get, you get the one ninety nine, like yeah, it was like five bucks for breakfast. Yeah. Right, with coffee, whatever. I'm like, but you're tipping a dollar. He's like, he's like, he's like, yeah, it's freaking Denny's. Why am I going to tip any more? I'm like, even more so to tip more because you're buying a cheap meal. She's doing the same amount of work as the person bringing you the sixty dollar meal. What's the difference? Exactly. The she's person, probably doing more work. That's what I'm saying. Uh, yeah, because she's busting. She's the table. refilling coffees, which would be and, and, nuts. And I think they're busing too. And they bus. Yeah, that's BS. So that you're tipping her less money because it's an inexpensive meal, but you're tipping her the same as if I ordered a single drink at a bar. Yeah, that's not freaking cool. She no. still took your order. She still took your custom order. And brought you your freaking food, brought you ketchup, and brought you filled in, filled your coffee, filled your water. Yes. And you're going to tip her a freaking dollar? Because it's Denny's. I don't care what time of life it's it is. It's only Denny's. Yeah. No, uh, uh, to me, that was like, oh, that's not funny. Well, I get why so, he's not your friend anymore. Yeah. Well, that, that wasn't We don't the hang re- out with people who That don't wasn't tip. the reason why, but I threw a few more dollars <laughs> on the table for her. I'm like, that's, yeah. I'm like, I compensated for his, you should. his lack and, thereof. And it was bullshit. There's so many times I have secretly tipped tables where I knew the person who was... Because this happens sometimes... Um, one person will take the check, right? Yeah. You'll ha- you'll be out with a group of six. Like, oh, yeah, sure. oh I'm going to cover, I'll I'm going to cover it. it. I got it. The thing is, is that usually that one person covering it because it's more than they were expecting to spend is that they don't tip appropriately on top of it. So I will, if I can see it and it's appropriate, I'm okay, but usually it's not. So I will under my cup or where my plate sometimes I'll leave a $20 bill <laughs> and I'll just hide it around sure. the table because I don't want to insult the person paying because it's awesome that they paid. But at the same time, I don't want that employee to lose out because... 
uh, of that reason. I so we we have, we had a few friends that do the same thing where they'll I'll pick up the tab and they'll tip shitty, right? Mm-hmm. Just because that's their thing. To yeah, tip shitty because <laughs> <You're> like, <laughs> they're just terrible at it. I'm like, no, don't worry about it. You know, you get the tab. That's awesome. Thank you. I'll I'll cover the tip. Yeah. So they don't, they'll leave zero for a tip and I'll leave the tip. The, but then, you, but you know the appropriate amount to leave. So yeah, because I'm not a freaking d bag. Yeah. Well, and I feel <laughs> like it being winter in the service industry, it's like you can never not tip appropriately. I mean, I guess maybe if somebody spilled hot coffee, I mean, no, they'd still probably get a tip. Like, uh, I yeah. will. I don't think I. I don't think I would because it, it's, it's. They didn't do it on purpose. They came over and poured it on me. Yeah. Yeah. They're gonna get. No, less actually, the, I did walk out on a restaurant one time because there was like the biggest piece of hair in my sandwich. And I took a bite of it, and it was one of those where you pulled it out, but like the hair was out with it. And yeah. I'm like, I got, I let, I instantly left. Like I, I, Troy, honestly, he probably could have paid that. Now that I'm thinking about it, but I, I had to leave. Like yeah. I could, I was like, I'm gonna throw up, and I don't want to throw up in the restaurant, got and it. I just need to go outside. And I, I left. I walked out of there. But ugh. Have, have you ever thrown up in a restaurant? No, 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 no. Daz, have you ever thrown up in a restaurant? When I was drunk. Sweet. <laughs> In the restroom no, or in no, the bathroom? No, like in the bathroom. Oh, got not it, in got the, it, got no, it. No, 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 no. Have you ever, so have you ever had a kid throw up in a, in a restaurant? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sweet. Of course. <laughs> we, had pro- <laughs> we had projectile vomiting. Oh, projectile. Yeah, at Payway. Oh. <laughs> oh, wow. Ethan was, Chinese food, fun. Ethan was little and um, I don't know what he ate or whatever. And it was like, it literally, it was <laughs> stop. <laughs> so bad. It was bad. Spe- you know what's so funny? Speaking of tipping. Is that in this movie, Justin Long, he is he has two instances that deal with tipping. And the first time is he's serving, oh my god, the most like redneck um um Oh, he was uh, he's I mean, he had a freaking, he wanted his steak a, well done with ketchup. Yeah, yeah. And he ordered himself a shot of this dude goes, I'll take a shot of whiskey and a double shot of whiskey. And she'll have a water. And she'll have a water. Oh, you know what? It's our anniversary. She'll have a Pepsi. You why don't you just order a triple shot of whiskey? Like, why order one shot of whiskey? And then a double shot of whiskey. I don't know. I thought it was off. But so then he goes to t- or he goes to pay at the end of the day. And then he leaves them like two dollars and fifty cents or something. Yeah. So Justin Long's character, $1. Dean, $1. goes after him and says, like, hey, you forgot your change. Yeah. And the dude's like, no, no, no. It's all you. It's all you. Like I that's your tip. And right. he's like, No, 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 you need it more than me. And then this dude just freaking loses, loses it. Shit. Yeah, I want coupons. Oh, I want a <laughs> Sunday. Yeah, I want a Sunday. He's like, we'll mail it to you. He's like, how's it going to get a Sunday in the mail? Just bring have it to you, me have right now. Have you ever now. been insulted by a, a waiter or waitress like that? Like with... Uh, like has, they come at you all super aggressive like that? Because of, of my tip? No, just in general. Absolutely not. I'm yeah, like, try. Let's go. Yeah. I am I will serve or fight you all day. Like, What, what about you, Des? <laughs> mm, no. Wait. That's me. Just you. Yes. <laughs> I'm just kidding. We just yelled at each other. Oh, that's di- that's different. Yeah, I forgot. You guys work together. We work together. <laughs> bartending. So you deal. And you know what's so funny when you're a bartender is you start referring to people as what they drink. So they'll be like, hey, you know that one guy? Oh, yeah, yeah, and yeah. then you're like, oh, two yeah, Bud Light cans? Yeah, yeah, I know him. You yeah. know what, though? I Now that you say that, I do have a story. When I was working at uh, in Old New Hall. Okay. I'm not going to mention the restaurant. Sure. So when I was in Old New Hall working there... Um, I had this one person, these, these two people, they were just rotten ladies, I believe. Of course. Okay. Yeah, Give like, us a bad and, yeah, Always. And I was taking care of them hand to foot. You know, I was at the bar, so I served food and drinks. Oh, right, 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 right. And I would get busy. So I would do server drinks, my drinks, and I would take care of the bar. So these people were being really awful. I was taking really good care of them for how busy I was. And they were just kind of being passive aggressive, right? Sure. Mm. And at the end, they did not tip me. Jealous. Oh, at, at all. all. Zero? At all. Oh. Did at they all. write no tip? Nothing. They didn't even write anything nothing. in? Ugh. They just write. And I'm oh. like, okay, there's no cash, no nothing. And one of my managers actually went out and chased them and didn't wasn't rude, but was just like, I Ask just want to know. <gasps> what did she say? Oh, um, God, that is so embarrassing for that woman. I'm so glad that your manager did that. Yeah. Oh, no. The, they wound up coming. It. Yeah. They wound up coming back and leaving me cash. Yeah. That's what I th- and did. They did. They yeah. act like they forgot. Yeah. Of course they yeah. did. Yeah. No, nah, oh. they knew like, what they no were doing. Something. No one forgets to leave. it. No, so. but they yeah. knew exactly Choose. what they were doing. And then yeah. they got called out and then they felt bad and had to come back and tip you because I could see the manager coming up and, and I've had waitresses do this to customers that don't tip them and kudos to them because I usually keep my mouth shut, but they will come up and be like, excuse me, sir. Did, did I do something wrong with your experience today? Or did I, 
did I hinder your your dining you know experience experience yeah. Yeah, I didn't do anything wrong said was and like, then they uh, freak out yeah. yeah they were my manager was like was there something wrong you know I watched her serve you take good care of you guys I know yeah. she was busy but she still took care of you guys well that's just because they were jealous and they were just like what oh oh they didn't you know you how tipped. many no tips I've gotten because I'm a woman or oh, yeah you know, or, or it's like oh oh no tip or I've got, even gotten notes like don't smile at my husband. Like I smile at everybody. I am not being specific to anybody. You know what I mean? Listen, like I am we a are server. Bartenders. <laughs> and a, we, bartenders. That's my job. We smile and laugh at everybody. And then when I, we want your money, but guess yeah, what? No when I don't smile, then I got some asshole over here telling me to smile. So like, there's really oh, no God. winning here. You know no. what I'm saying? Cause it's, it's a woman being upset that you smiled at her husband or it's a dude upset that you're not smiling enough. Like, it's such this that's why I think this I think that's why I resonate with this movie because those dealing with, at least with the customers as far as like that storyline th that, is that, they hit it on that, it. That's where they barely hit on it. They didn't it. go deep, but they, they went, went with the, the food girl who sucked. They did that. They didn't go into I think if I, I think if they brought more of the, the dining experience into it other than the dinner rush. And then the one time that the, the food sucks. They should just and show a real the... rest. They should just film a real restaurant at a dinner rush and they would have so much footage. <laughs> just like yeah, I... it would be so much better than what they try to make it to be. I know. Because it's true. But th there is, the, you know, Na there are people like Naomi. I'm one of them who go in the back. You're all smiley. You go in the back and you just start, you know, you let it all out. You go cry in the walk in and then you got to come back out like nothing happened. Like right. what goes on behind those doors in the kitchen is insane it's always madness yeah. i like it it's kind of like a controlled chaos but it's it's fun and at the end of the day everybody goes in and has a drink because you need it at that point sure it's funny because her character was the only character that i felt like oh my god i think that it was all of us which one uh, the um the the naomi yeah I think oh, she, oh, yeah. she reminded me because of all of us we are. <laughs> because we were all nice and bubbly to everybody and then we would go in the back curse one out and then come right back out smiling again. Yeah, you got to like right. let out the rage that you're having within customers. So they did, you know, I, I liked how they sh they highlighted that. They hit the mark on that. Yeah, they did miss a mark on, stuff, on some of the things. But I overall, to me personally, and this is probably our age gap, it wasn't a terrible movie. But they also say the stuff that you see when you're a teenager sits with you differently. This, like the music you listen to when you were a teenager will live in your brain differently differently than anything you hear as an adult. Well, that's not true either, though. Yes, it is. They just had a study. Look it up right yeah, now. It's, I, I call bullshit on a study because I've listened to plenty of music I listened to as a teenager and listened to it again. I'm like, yeah, this is exactly well, what I remember. Well, not everything. This is fantastic. And I watched, I've been watching movies that we've watched since when I was a teenager. And I'm like, okay, these are really good or really, really shitty. This is one of those that I wasn't a teenager. I was in, in my, I think, early early 30s that's what i'm saying so it's gonna and hit different for you than it is for me oh when it when it first came out i was in my early 20s so it was no okay. you weren't because i was 16 so I would, I you would have been, been 20 like 20 I what, 25 30 you're 30 so yeah that's what i'm but i'm saying no you no i would have been adult. no yeah, you've been 25 right yeah, i would have been 20 or whatever been 28 like, there you go so but that's an adult age yeah, yeah, so it's different right. than when i'm seeing it as a 16 year old sure but I mean, I can look back at like, say, Van Wilder and go, I really like Van Wilder. That had a lot of stupid shit in it. I mean, a lot of stupid, gross ass shit in it. And I still like Van Wilder. Yeah, but may maybe because I don't know, I, maybe because you weren't working in restaurants. So it didn't like but I did. resonate I had to say in restaurants. Well, I don't know. Then you just didn't like it. I, I liked did. it. I, I don't think I, it was. I don't think it was that bad. I think it, I, it I, had surprises. Watching it again. I will never watch this film ever again. Like that's it. This was it. Did you I ever even get 45 minutes into it? That's what I'm getting at. Well, it's like, I, oh, so I watched and this it with, had commercials. I watched this with Ethan. Uh huh. Ethan is 17. Yeah. He said he walked out four times and this is the stupidest thing he'd ever freaking seen in his yeah, life. Yeah, well, he didn't grow he up says, in 2005. He said this is some freaking predator bullshit that he would never freaking it, well, you Well, it would not It would not fly today. We it, understand I mean, it clearly that. doesn't. So, yeah. For, but I'm here for the the all of the people who did like this movie because I liked it when it came out. I was a fan when I, I did, first saw it. I did too is what I'm getting at. I liked it originally. But I you're saying now you there, can't. Otherwise, I wouldn't have agreed to watch this because I can't do this uh, this film again. I remember this film differently. That's and you, I, okay, so you so, and you're re-watching it. It's a now I can never watch right. it again no, no, because I rewatched it now. Otherwise, I would have had a strong opinion about, about, about doing this film to begin with. 
So oh, when you're you right. guys when you guys said let's do waiting, I'm yeah, like, this yeah, this was that, my pick. By it was, so I have a stack of DVDs in the house uh-huh. of all my favorite films that I think Ethan should watch. This movie is was in, in that there? stack. It's a short stack. It's like maybe thirty DVDs. Yeah. Right, and this is in one of the one of the ones that I felt he should watch. Okay, so I'll take the DVD because you obviously don't want it anymore. Because <laughs> so Ethan like, didn't like it either. I'm blown away. So, at, but he how, didn't like because the predatory parts of it. I get a, that. A lot of that. A lot of the the gay jokes were inappropriate. There wasn't any gay jokes. A- anti gay jokes. Yeah. When was there an anti gay joke? Every in time. Waiting? Every time they called somebody, oh, that's so gay. That is a. Gay that doesn't joke. happen in waiting. They, there's no there's no anti I just watched it this morning there was no anti gays I watched it I watched it yesterday and I rewatched it today when was they're there a slur people, they're calling people gay all the time in this in this film what Dude, are you talking wha- about? Google's this they're, no they do not say do they call anyone gay in waiting yes who tell me when because I just watched it five minutes ago that's so gay is what they say when did the they say that's so gay when you when they're they're freaking when he's explaining the entire game Oh, the game part. Okay, yeah, you're right. The that's where the gay <laughs> comes in. What are talking about? But but they're calling each other gay after they looked at each other's dicks. <laughs> right. That's just early two thousands humor. I guess. But because I thought that's what doesn't I thought you were saying anymore. like I don't know. I don't know. I didn't think of it like I that's, with the game with it. Yeah, because we don't use that kind of terminology anymore. Well, I mean, no, I don't no that's muscle, what so. that's the problem with idiocracy. That's why I didn't like that one is because you right. can't. And that's the main focus on this film is that stupid ass game. It's it's probably that that game has more playtime in this than the restaurant that it did in my yeah, opinion pro- well i, I, I mean that's that game so came out in like the first scene like he was it, already explaining it was the it. very first and they spent like when... 20 minutes explaining yes. this damn freaking it's, game yeah it's like is this movie about the game or about, about the way the ga- about the freaking restaurant it's about the restaurant that has the game in it about the ball showing game I mean, what the hell is wrong with it and then bishop at the end even explains more about the ball showing game. You should have your own ball showing well, game. Well, he show, he said... What the crap? It's with, not a metaphor, dude. Without that, the restaurant would have went under. He said three years ago they were real bad till he came in and started that game and morale is way up. And, and we all know that's bullshit. That doesn't happen. But the, the, the explanation behind it, making it, again, a more important part of the film. Yeah, like so that's all about that. So the game is it's all about the game. If the game didn't happen, then this film wouldn't have happened that's, type I, of thing. That's why I didn't like about it. If okay. they eliminated the game, the movie would have been 20 minutes long. I get that. Maybe because I don't focus on the game. Like, I just kind of like, like, even right now, I'm like, what do you want to talk about? Okay, like, I didn't even click into that. Like, right. I don't, I guess I'm not, That does. that's not what stood out to me. Yeah. What stood out to me was like the little bit of interactions with the customers that's, and with each other. And that's the good part that of this dynamic. film. And they didn't focus on that nearly enough as to me. They focus more on this. Probably about half of this film is probably focusing on the stupid game than it is focusing on the restaurant. Well, they should have. They the should. They should have focused more on Naomi, especially when she's out yeah. back and she's complaining and she tells she tells Dean because Dean gets offered the Fucking assistant psycho manager. Babble bullshit. He gets offered the the assistant manager position and she's breaking down what it is to become an assistant manager and he goes she's like you get your badge and you get to make the schedule and you think you're tough blah, blah. you know what i'm saying so yeah. like and she's and they're like whoa 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 naomi calm down but she's right she's right like you can't and uh his girlfriend also works there meaning that if he's a, uh becomes a manager then technically they're not allowed to be together anymore like there's right. a lot of things that are going on see i, I don't know i was focusing more on like that story yeah. plot line than like it, it because of the other st- story because of that stupid game it, the, it the like film took away lost from it took where away from the film it could have been great right. where you focus on uh, on like on empire records where they're focusing on mostly on their each individual yeah. life no no, no i agree stories, with you and i you think know? empire records did it perfectly and i think this movie has the same problem that idiocracy had where i kept getting porn out of it when it was too offensive or right because if they got rid of because that the stuff, story it still made a good story yeah, yeah the storyline right. is great and just right. being a, a team in a restaurant is a great story because the dynamics and everything Correct. is so like mixed up and crazy right. and you're you right. have a story there you're right I, I understand what you're saying is like when you add in that element of the <laughs> penis showing game it kind of throws you off a little bit and yeah i don't know if i would want to show it to my kids <laughs> I, because of that he, i mean even 17 so i'm like i know but it was what fine did he say? he's like i mean he said so many negative he was things the same about age it. as was, me when he when he saw it right and he's just i mean he left he literally left like four times he just what he couldn't he's get all, into it and, and he doesn't get embarrassed by stuff so he yeah. just said this is just really just, just cr- not it was very him. cringy 
Mm, yeah, that's exactly what me and my husband felt. Yeah. The we cringe. were trying to watch it together, and I'm like, "This is like seriously cringy. I can't watch this. All the yeah, especially the underage right. The underage stuff is way yeah. too much. Jokes. The, I was just like, "Oh God, this I, I mean, is like uncomfortable to watch." And, and the, Naomi, uh, not Naomi. Uh, no, it was Naomi, right? No, 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 Natasha, right? Natasha, the un- the underage girl, the hostess. The hostess. Yes. I mean. She played the underage girl part, flirting with people just fine. That's that's fine. I mean, that's a lot. A lot of girls her age just, I guess they're just trying to get through, and they know what's going to get them get through. get them through. Exactly. That's what I'm getting at. So when boss man hits on her, Ugh. oh my god! I, I mean, I think that's where we stopped the movie. I, I get so, that. I feel that. So Dan, Dan, the the manager. Like clearly hitting on her, like right, like blatant as blatant could possibly be. Even if she was eighteen, even if let's even say, if she is eighteen, even right. if, let's say she's eighteen and say she's not seventeen, say she is of age, is still freaking gross. Well, and to it, me. it you know it's really gross is when she's she's fucking with them the whole time, which is fun. No, no, that, 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 she, and that's a, that's the part that's cool about it. That she, she's she, in on, she, she knows she, what she's doing, so she's aware she of her him power. To, yeah, to, to but what happened though? Because she even over. she even goes in and goes. Oh, I, like I'm going to be really drunk tonight. So please don't judge me it because is, of how drunk I get. It's literally to catch a predator. Shit. Yeah, and, but it's like, <laughs> dude, you're you're however old. It said he graduated. Dan's plaque on the wall said he graduated in 1993 from college, from his from community college. He's much older. So if that was in 1993, it's filmed in 2005. I don't know. I can't do math. She's but it's like, OK, you're going to tell that to not only a grown adult, but your boss. And then he's yeah. going to be like, oh, hey, like she did him right because she uh, screwed him over, which was great. Um, but then, you know, Marty was right there, right there to pick up that slack. Right. Like we got rid of one creepy ass dude. But right behind dude. him was another one. Yeah, I mean, they he literally for, I mean, they, they didn't have have intercourse, but they made out in the bedroom. And that was enough for me. to well, go, it, what yeah, the with, and, it, and then he goes, oh, gosh, uh, yeah, we have to talk about that part where he stops and he goes, well, we'll just wait the week. And it's like, dude, are you trying to redeem yourself right now? Yeah, because it's, it's already been working. known that too you little, too late, homie, that you hook up with high school yeah. girls or I, whatever. I was literally waiting for Chris Hansen to <laughs> walk, <laughs> walk, walk into the film. Welcome to Catch a Predator <laughs> yeah, exactly. Restaurant Edition. Seriously, man, it was it was really cringy i mean they, if they got rid of that part too it's that, also the whole... it's really inappropriate and then to even have but, the dynamic with the boss it, it's really pushing it and i understand as that's where you stop watching it because that is a line that shouldn't be crossed it's one thing to be a co-worker who's a couple years older than you but yeah, then yeah. you get your freaking boss in there who's in that power position yeah absolutely not okay and that, that pulls a whole thing that's happening with the theater the movie movie studios and everything else exactly right? yeah. exact same thing so uh where was i going with this Shoot, I lost my train of thought. Who cares? Anyway. Sorry. <laughs> so, no, no, it's okay. It'll come back to me. No, whoa. Yeah, it's well, gone forever. It's I can see it. There it goes. Pop it. <laughs> it's gone forever. Okay, so re- let's let's get down to the ratings. And then oh, I oh, have... Oh, that's where I was going. Sorry, sorry. Oh, she's just back. We're back. We're back. Yeah, yeah. So the one thing they did do with this is that they did highlight that aspect of the film. The aspect of life because that BS does happen. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. But they didn't portray it as this is an aspect of life. This is just, it made it feel more cringy. They could have shown it because, you know what I'm saying? Because Natasha was so smart and knew what was going on and then decided on her own to, to play into it. There are all, there are, are hundreds of thousands unsuspecting girls that wouldn't know what was going on and just think this, maybe and this boss this is, wants to just hang out. And this is just the way life is. Yeah. And maybe and that's just and maybe what this it is. is the only way to move up. Yep. And that, oh, that's how I'm going to get, that's how I'm going to get promoted to server or, right. you yeah, know, it's exactly. that power position that yeah. happens and it's, it's oh, really just, messed up. I just up. had to X, Y, Z with whomever. I'm like, yeah. God, and, that, and that sucks. But oh, they, and in Hollywood, that's huge. <laughs> like, oh, that's yeah, what every, I mean, that's how anyone, anyone who's famous, like they slept with somebody to get there. That's just kind of yeah, what it is. Yeah, like it's a lot of the times that is the case, yeah. unfortunately. Yeah. It's, it's Men sad. and it's women. Sad. It's not even it's gender sad. bias. Oh yeah. No, no, for sure. Especially with all yeah. this Diddy stuff coming out. Like that's all men. Don't even get me freaking started with that crap. Anyhow, so that's you said a different episode. That's a whole different episode. Yeah, exactly. We can get into a freaking anyway. But so. No, but I'll get too mad and then we'll have to then we won't put it well, out. Yeah, we'll have a, just an X dates. I episode. just get so angry and start yelling and then yeah. we're like, we can't upload that. We can't that. upload that one. That one got a little dark. Because <laughs> I just get mad. Yeah. But you're right. We should I mean we should have an episode conversation about the the dark side of 
of that. Of, but in this industry. movie, yeah. especially like, so let's put me, for example, I'm a, a naive teenager sure. seeing this on the big screen being like, oh, uh, you know, like, yeah, she obviously didn't want him to come or whatever. But at the same time, it's like, it, it just shouldn't be portrayed on like how, like it shouldn't be Natasha's doing to get him away from her because what if he just didn't go away what if he did show up to the party what if he's he didn't leave her alone like how would she feel in that sense like besides going to your boss and saying get away from but me what if he retaliates when he yeah, well, would for sure of course he i would. mean we don't know dean, what's gonna happen dean right? quit and then he tried to fire him so yeah. of course he would retaliate because right. he's just a, a he's a, that guy a restaurant manager dude he's that guy he he's that, that guy he played that d-bag really really he, well he did a great job playing that character he did. Because that's just kind that's of what sad. it is. Come on, that's sad. <laughs> but you know, it's funny though. I do love the bus boys. I love the bus boys I doing hated whippets. Them so much. I, I hated, love the whippets and the walking. I hated walk-in. them so much. You know why I hated them so much? Is we had we had when I worked at um, this wasn't at a restaurant. I worked at Domino's for a while. Uh huh. And we had a couple dudes that were just not just like this, but they were super stupid and they didn't do. Jack I feel like crap every bus boy is high and like don't this. doesn't do anything. Yeah, I mean. It was bad. It wasn't whippets. It wasn't the the whipped cream that they were freaking huffing. They were just in the cooler and they would open up bags of like pepperoni and just start eating. And that. just eat the pepperoni. So you'd have to toss well, because the they probably bag. went out back and smoked and then they oh, got hungry. Oh, and, oh yeah. Gosh, I had this one buster. He's great. He's he was a great person. But when he smoked, like some people can, you can tell, or you some people can get away with it, and you're like, oh, I wouldn't know. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh, he, you could, he, oh, everything changed. The uh, his demeanor, his speed everything like it, it was i'm like dude you're like too high right now like yeah. you need to go you need to go to the walk-in because yeah. i'll bust my tables because yeah. it's too much yeah but you would see like this instant shift and then also your heart kind of sinks like because you're like oh now i get to work twice as hard today because the people that are here to help me aren't here to help me but you know i, I think that's just how it goes sometimes you have a super drunk coworker and you just deal with it because the next night yeah. it's going to be someone else. <laughs> that was only one. I only got drunk one time at work, but it was my birthday. Yeah. So, I didn't even talk about yeah, that. so yeah. it was okay, but it was only a one time, uh, when I got, when I wasn't able to continue working. <laughs> <laughs> Other than that, it's always been, I think, cause we used to do shots just to, um, it's kind of like a, a way to start the night, right? Sure. It's like as bartenders, we would hang out. Everyone gets a shot. You take it. Every restaurant I worked in always did that before a sure. big night. We all get that shot to kind of like get us going. And then sure. it goes from there. So, but regardless of that, if you were going to rate the movie waiting. Yes. How many solely, Yelp reviews? <laughs> solely based on the second time you saw it. Just what I saw it right now. Yeah. Like I want I'm going to split it up actually. I'll, I'll rate it to what I originally thought it was going to be. Oh, there we go. And then what I think it is now. Okay. So before I would give it out of 10 stars, we'll say. Okay. Uh, before I would have probably. No, given no, no. Wait, we have to do five stars. Oh, five stars. Five, like star, five star restaurant review. Okay. Well, then I would have probably given it like a three and a half stars. Originally. Originally. Okay. Because I thought it was going to be a great film again. And now going back into it, if I could give it a, a good solid one star, I would give it a good solid one so you're star. going from three and a half to one one star one review. out of five yeah and i i would my, my write-up on yelp would be a fucking paragraph long it'd be a, a nice book for somebody to read uh, about the restaurant or the uh, movie about the film <laughs> like did you, if we go to the restaurant we leave the restaurant, the restaurant, the restaurant is probably fine <laughs> shenanigans is probably fine i would probably never eat there the birthday song <laughs> that's was funny kind of stupid but yeah i'm i'm done with chain restaurants for the most part anymore well and like espe- you know it's so it's just really expensive and fast food we what they went up what like two days ago to 20 dollars an hour yeah. and of course they come out with a statement that was like the food's gonna cost more and it's like we already couldn't afford it anyway, so yeah, exactly. I, just, I don't think it matters anymore. I mean, you already you already ripped us off on the. Let's be honest, right? Between twenty twenty mm-hmm. and now, the food has gone up exponentially, like almost double in some cases. Yeah. Where In and Out used to be fairly like on the higher end of, of the scale for getting a meal, uh-huh. right? It was I think it was just under ten bucks. Yeah, nine dollars and fifty five cents. Yeah, it's still nine dollars and fifty five cents, right? I think it is for the meal. For I the, think they're all over ten now. Are they? Yeah. Last time I went there, everything was like 10. Okay, cool. 10 is fine. Even 12. Say 15. Let's say it's $15 for the meal. It's still cheaper than McDonald's. I know. I like, But even the grocery store, because I went to go buy potatoes the other day. Yeah. And I had to get like, oh, I, I got went. a little bag of potatoes and it was like, um, what was it? 8 
And I'm yeah. like, for four That's, potatoes? And, and that is why we go to Sam's Club, because it's, I, it's, the most, insane. it's the least expensive for but produce But see, I, town. and I forgot, or I did a, an order, and I got my food delivered for that day, and of course, that item didn't come. So oh. I had to run to Albertsons real quick. Got and it. you think, okay, I'm just going to go in and buy potatoes or whatever, and it's like, you I didn't think I was going to be spending that much money on a couple of potatoes. Brittany, what? what's your what's your rating? My rating? I give it... Let's see. Out of five stars. I, I think my before and now, I'm going to just go with a solid three. Three stars. I'll go solid three. I think they were trying. So I'll hold up for you. It, yeah, because I, I have nostalgia towards it. Like, I remember going to the movie theater. I remember who I was with. I remember being so excited to watch Dane Cook in a movie. Like, I think I just have but more. No, so nostalgia maintains your thought process on any film, like always. Like, if you watch something when you were younger... And you're like, dude, I loved this film when I was a kid. And you watch it again and you're, you're kind of, I guess. Always? And also with this one too, is it's, it's restaurant and that's my biz. Like yeah. I, I know that I, that life, I understand that life. I know that life. So it's like, sure. there's that familiarity with it too. I like Justin Long. You know, I love Anna Ferris. Like there, I don't, there's nothing wrong with the actors in the movie. There's a sequel, which is the app. You think this movie is bad. The movie called still waiting. We won't watch it. Cause I won't waste your time with it is you if if you took this movie and like tried to make it as worse as you could yeah that's still waiting the movie still waiting is embarrassing to even call a movie and they pretty much only have like calvin in it but he turns into like this jerk guy who works at like the big tit like hooters knockoff place like it's so bad it's oh. real bad the original is waiting is fine still waiting don't watch it oh wow, it, wow. <laughs> I had no your idea. brain will still be waiting I had to no process idea that they even bothered making a second one of these because it didn't do that well in theaters it didn't know and then it did okay afterwards on dvd but it it's not like it's not that sequential cult classic that everybody thinks of you know what i mean it's no not, no, no it's, not on, it's not on that list at yeah, all by, by no means so it didn't do that well all all around so for them to come out with a second one is it was kind of bizarre. bizarre yeah i bet you i know why though it was cheap to make. It's it all was, about money. They're like, you know, the other was, one wasn't that bad. It was cheap to film. You're filming in a restaurant. Yeah. And you have no set. Your yeah. restaurant is the it's set. It's the set. That's and inexpensive. I think they brought, they might have brought Naomi back, which oh, I feel bad for her because I feel like she would just, she's great. So she could do other things. She, but it's just so not. I no, no, I have to say. I think Naomi, I think Calvin's in it. I think Naomi is in it. And I think that might be the only two original that are still in it. But it's, I don't recommend it. <laughs> It's wow. so cringy. Wow. Like, if that, I wanted you guys to be mad at me, then uh, that's what I would. Uh, that's what I would put on for you because he it's, does. Yeah, she's looking. Do you, it's called still waiting. No, oh, uh, I'm just gonna look her up. Oh, he, I am. I'm looking her up right now. Um, are you watched this movie for a whopping forty five? She oh, yeah, didn't she even was, make it all the way was, through. She wasn't still waiting. If she watched it with me, I would have made her watch it all the way through, just like I had to sit through Galaxy Quest. So it's, we're going to be on even playing fields here. Yeah. I mean, it was it was bad. Uh, anyway, so what, so you only watched it for 45 minutes. So I'm going to guess, and this is just an assumption, and you tell me if I'm wrong, you wouldn't rate this movie. I would not. You'd it, give it a... It, does, it doesn't even, like, register, register on my radar, dude. Like, yeah. Did like, you like Mitch? Oh, you didn't see Mitch's speech at the end, so you don't even no. Like I seriously couldn't get through it, yeah, and it was and just, I don't blame it was you, so dude. cringy. And then, like I said, when they got to that one part with the with the boss, with the boss, like all up in the young girl's face, I just looked at my husband. I was like, "Dude, I'm done with this." He's like, "Me too. This is so dumb." He's like, "There's no story. There's nothing to it." Okay, let me spoil it for you. So the yeah. young girl, when she says that she's gonna give him directions to the party, you know where she gives him directions to. She, she sends him to that the one dude's house that was freaking out about uh, um, tipping the one who tipped Justin Long so little and was having a fit and wanted corporate to send him all this stuff. He had oh. him show up to that house. So he shows up to that guy's house with like a six pack of beer, at like the very end of the movie. <laughs> and it's like good, good on her. But also you you're that's another cringe moment. I guess you're bringing that, alcohol to a minor. And that's where. Right. And that's where freaking uh, what's his name? Uh, Chris Hansen should have walked out the door. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, that, he should have made the whole gone. Right? That would have been so good. I, at that point, I would have given another couple stars. Then it would have been. Uh, then oh, we would have yeah. upgraded it. He that also should have got good. Monty. Like Ryan Reynolds character wasn't doing anything better. Yeah, we don't oh, witness don't, it happening, but they 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 no, emphasize we, that it happens a lot. We witnessed it happen. He that's made true. Out, he did make out. With he her. made out with her. 
Yeah. He may not may not have been and then there, he but he made out with because her. Because we'll just gross. wait a week, and it's like even that is like gross. Gross. Because he's portrayed as like an older twenties, right? Like uh, yeah, mid, I don't mid, know how old mid he's to supposed older to be. Twenties, because he seems like the older guy. At I the guess, restaurant. huh? Because I know Dean just, is twenty two, but I don't know how old Monty's character is supposed to just be. Just like Van Wilder, he was at college for X amount of like, years, yeah, more than so everybody old else. And, like, so he plays. I feel feels like he's like the same and freaking character. That's true because they're trying to make it so he can. They're saying that's what Anna Ferris was saying. That's like you can only get young girls because they don't know any, any better. better right that's why that's, it's like that's oh they'll fall the, for you because they think you're cute or whatever but in reality you're a douchebag yeah it's like it's like some, some of the people i knew back in the day that would um that were in, in some of the car clubs that we were in that were way out of high school they would come and pick up their girlfriends at the high school <sighs> i'm like dude stop you have to stop <laughs> you're like, I'm all, stop you, picking up your I'm girlfriend like, from school yeah i'm like dude come on man i'm like you're making it as obvious as possible that you're a freaking predator. but i feel like it's that gross. was like the thing I, people got praised for that shit like people by were other stoked dudes. by other yeah, dudes by that's other exactly dudes. what it is by yes. other dudes and it's it's i'm glad that the narrative has shifted and i'm glad that that there's still not media coming out with pushing that sort of narrative you know what i mean like i'm glad yeah. that we've learned better oh i know john higgins john michael higgins who's that he played in freaking still waiting that's terrible i think he's the new uh manager, manager. yeah he's the manager <laughs> it's not that's a good movie terrible it's really bad so everybody that didn't make it as a, in their career really is in this they film. went to there i know yeah, okay but i know that adam you guys carolla <laughs> is in the, still waiting is in still waiting <laughs> oh lord oh my god if I, this if fan. this video gets a hundred likes I will make Des and John watch Still Waiting. If this video gets a no. hundred watches, <laughs> yeah. there we go. If it gets a hundred views, we will do a live. Uh, we will do a live watch party of I'll Still have Waiting. To get like super drunk or something. We'll get drunk. We'll, we'll create a drinking game during it. Oh god! Maybe every cringe moment we'll I'm take a drink. Have, but nothing that has to show your balls or your penis, please. Yeah, I don't know what. I don't know what have you happens. Watched with, it? I yeah, but I don't remember it. Like I remember watching it and being like, "This sucks." Like this is nothing oh, like the original. Waiting. This is yeah. So if and I was a fan it, of the original, I didn't like it. That means it's real bad. It's got to be real bad. It's real bad. Because well, if I'm hating the original, I mean, that's what I'm saying. You're really not gonna like this one because it just feels worse. Now I kind of want to watch it again. <laughs> hey, can you guys watch this a hundred times so yeah, hard I can force 2009 them? Two thousand and nine too. So I can force them to watch it with me. They did this four years later. They're like, why? <laughs> they were like because we have nothing else to who do who asked for this shit I mean you know what happened is the DVD probably did well enough they're like oh, we can make another one of these for really cheap let's hire it's a bunch true. of no name actors that's what they shit. did okay and then I know you you're probably not super stoked on this oh no you might have heard about it oh no but we have some internet news because we all know that I'm the ultimate internet geek nerd YouTube fan yes and on okay, and I'm 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 a fan of uh, I'm a huge fan of Smosh. We all know that. Yes, we know that. And so on April first, yeah. two cast members, Courtney Miller and Shane Top, who have literally been um, shipped. Right, you know what that means when like the fans are like, oh, they're going to be together. There's like edits of these people, uh -huh. like years and years and years, and they have shut down these rumors for years. They were like, no, 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 no. On April first, they post wedding photos wedding photos and then i'm sitting here like oh cute like oh that's a fun april for like that's a that's a funny april fool's joke uh -huh. then the next day on april 2nd she posted more wedding photos so they legitly really got married so congratulations to them because and what a an internet moment of time like anthony coming back was big but this is like really big um I don't nobody they, had any idea i don't think they actually got married yes they did i bet you a million dollars they did I don't think they got married. They did too. You think they're gonna? You think it's a bit? Yeah, I think it's a bit. I think they're gonna drag. This it will on. be fun. Okay, we'll yeah, revisit yeah, we'll find this. Out. We'll revisit it. And I think, uh, I think what's the date today? We are in what? April. Yeah, April third. We're three days after. Uh, uh, so we'll come back and revisit because if they did get married and pulled this off, that's in insane. Also, if it's a bit. Yeah, I think it's a bit. Really good. I think it's a bit. You think, I think it's a bit? I think it's a bit, and I think it's awesome. I don't know. I, I think, think it's it, real. I think if it's a bit, it's even more so. Awesome. I've been, I, but you know what? I think if they got married, it's just their cast weird. member last night went live on Twitch and said, I'm, they are married. So if it, is it a bit in the sense of like David Dobrik married Jason Nass's mom for fun? Or is yeah. it a bit like, did they, they did it for the bit a marriage? Well, I mean, we can look it up. They're married. Well, we can look it up. It's LA record. I know. So, but there's one out and they think they said it's fake. 
But they also put it on their Wikipedia, which I guess you can't put spouse unless that is verified. No, somebody else can put it. In the in the body, but not in your little side thing. Oh, I thought they could. The side thing has to be verified. Your body can be whatever you want. Oh, are they? So yeah. it's... Yeah. I still I don't think know. it's a bit. Are you guys... I, 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 I've, I, I heard this, but I thought... It was a big deal. For sure. It was a, a huge deal for me. My heart sank. Yeah. And I thought it was a bit... Because it was April Fool's Day. And I'm like, that is great. That is fantastic. And they did a fantastic job. And then they're like, it's real. And my whole world changed. I watched them. Like, that's what I consumed the most. So for that to be right under my nose and me not yeah. figure it out... Yeah, I think it's going to be They gold. got me. I think it's going to be gold if they got you. They got... I think they, I think they got me. And I think it's a real marriage. I think they really got married. And I'm... I'm all in. Yeah, I don't. Think I can't wait till they have a baby because <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> not Do you guys think this is real? Okay. Anyway, I want to know what you guys think about the Smosh wedding, and I want to know what you guys think about the movie waiting, and I want to know what other movie we should cover. Leave it in the comments and let us know which one you want us to talk about because we will watch it even if we hate it. <laughs> <laughs> we will, and That's then we'll probably, talk about it. That's probably true. Well, maybe 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 not that far, but we'll <laughs> we'll find something that we agree upon. Anyway, but that was a very interesting story that you just came up with. I mean, now I'm going to keep an eye on that for sure. Wait, the, the, the smosh. The wedding? Yeah, the wedding. It's I, real. I think it's fake. I think it's real. Yeah. R- write in the comments down below if you think it's real or if it's fake because it's the, the internet is torn. I know. This. It's it kind of really crazy. Because they won't know. <laughs> anyway, so I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this episode. Um, I know I enjoyed the episode, but I did not enjoy this movie. If you guys want to watch this movie... Take uh, take Britney's. It's uh, free on. Uh, li- li- <laughs> <laughs> is it free? It's free on everything. Is I it? looked it I up. I couldn't find it on Amazon. It was, oh, it, cost- I, it was not. Well, I watched it on Amazon. It I watched bucks. it on Free V, and then it's on Tubi. You know oh, the yeah, ones yeah, that, yeah, yeah. that all the movies it, yeah, that yeah, nobody yeah. wants. Yeah, That's- I watched. I watched it on DVD. <laughs> yeah, wait, what's that? I don't even know what that is anymore. <laughs> what's a DVD? Uh, yeah. So yeah, take take her word for it if you guys want to watch it. If you don't want to watch it, yeah, the, this guy. <laughs> I gotta do the outro <laughs> if you guys could do all the things down below the likes the subscribes the follow along and please share this with friends and family we need your guys's help in order to grow this channel and this podcast you can catch us on all streaming services including apple carplay or apple play and and you know, the They're things. all, yeah, all yeah. the things things yeah <laughs> And also, don't forget to backhand that notification bell. Just like Dad used to do. And until the next one, see ya. Bye. So am I still waiting? (laughs) 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 This world's not (laughs) fading. Can't find a good reason.